As an entrepreneur, you should have a vision of what you want to achieve locally in your home market and what potential uh, is there for your business globally. One of the things that we observe in small business owners and entrepreneurs when they're expanding overseas is capacity. And that is the biggest constraint, especially if you're still running your business at home. How are you going to allocate your investment dollar? How are you going to invest your resource? Over the years, I've worked with very successful women entrepreneurs who have done really well overseas. And some of the traits that I admire the most are they're super resilient. Where others see risks, they see opportunities. They are people connectors. They build relationships on the ground. They know how to identify talent. They take a lot of effort to understand the market and really succeed in that market. There are a number of key considerations that an owner should really think about. One is the size of the market. What is that potential for you to expand? And is there a real strong business case? Number two, of course, is you really need to understand who are the competitors out there? Are your products and services differentiated? The third is access to talent. You can have great products and services, but you still need great people. Fourth is if you have a very strong local partner who is already well established in that market and can help you even open up doors to a much bigger ecosystem. It is also very important to have a strong banking partner because you need financial services and you can also get really great advice. So that's also a critical area that you should think about. There are a number of ways that an entrepreneur can expand overseas. One, of course, is set up your business on your own. That's usually quite challenging, right? Unless you're already very familiar with that market. The second would be work with a partner. And you might want to form either a joint venture with a partner, or you can just simply export your products to your partner who will then distribute your product in that market. The third is through a platform. And increasingly, we're seeing quite a lot of that, where an entrepreneur works with a partner at e-commerce and distribute the product through that e-commerce platform. And then the fourth is franchising your business, right? You again, work with a partner locally where they actually set up the business and distribute your products and services. There are a number of things that you need to get right when you expand internationally. One, of course, is having that right talent on the team. And very often, having a team that's local and also perhaps an international team that can bring in the expertise from other parts of the world. So that's quite important, talent. Uh, number two is really deciding what parts of your business do you want to customize and what part of your business do you want to standardize because it could really impact the cost of doing business.